Hey everybody, it's Pastor Corey uh, here at the Cumberland Church. Well, not here at the Cumberland Church. I'm actually here in my little um, garage workshop that I have set up. Um, I like to make things and I like to, to share the things that I make with others. I, most of the stuff that I make is really for, for folks, you know, for gifts and for fun. Um, and one of the things that I've been thinking about lately in all of this that we've been experiencing is how much I miss our kids. Uh, in our drive-in worship and with our online streaming, I don't get to spend time with our little ones and our children's time, and I really miss that. So I thought that I would make a video specifically for them. So this is for the little ones. Uh, don't worry, adults can watch too if they want. I just wanted to share some of the stuff that I've been making with my young friends. Um, here's a cool little box that I've made. See, it's got a little roll top on it. This is just a solid sheet of wood that's been cut and with a whole bunch of little bitty cuts that makes it flexible so you can roll it up into the box and you got the little you can put stuff in there that's cool i've got this other box that i think is pretty neat too uh, this one i made to keep some of my little 3d printer tools in and it's got the hinges built into one piece so it opens up just like that so you got my tools in there there's another one that i made very cool box this one doesn't have a, a handle or a, a lid. Instead, you take this little key and you put it in there just like that and you twist it. Well, if I get the key in there, there we go. There we go. You twist it and the lid opens, see? Pretty neat, huh? And then uh, here's a little uh, TIE Fighter design I'm working on for Christmas for Christmas ornaments. You can see from Star Wars. I'm working on an X-Wing too and it can you can hang, make these and color them and hang them on your tree. Hmm? Uh, I've also uh, been trying to make a mask for myself and for my family. Been experimenting with that. And so I made, I made this one. This looks kind of Star Wars like too, doesn't it? This is a mask that I would wear out. Like if I'm getting groceries or something like that. See? It's got a little filter that you can put in there been making smaller ones because that one's kind of big. I got a big head. I've been making smaller ones for um, my boys and for Peggy. See? Working on that. But you know, there are a lot of people that are wearing masks right now. And they, uh, a, a lot of the mask straps are elastic and they go around the back of your ear. That's how it holds the mask on. Maybe you know somebody that's having to wear a mask for work all the time. And when you wear them all day, they... They mess with your ears, they make you sore, and they rub them raw. And so one of the things that I've been making trying to help my friends um, are these clips. So that instead of taking the, the, the bands for the mask and having it go around your ear, you could pull it back further, further back around your head and use a little clip to hold the straps together. And that way it's just on your head and it doesn't hurt anything. And I've been making all kinds. I've made them out of acrylic. And some of those designs are kind of neat. See, that's a little flexible little acrylic clip. They're kind of brittle though. They don't work well. See, they look cool, but they, they break with if you put any tension on them. So that's not good. I've been trying to make some out of um, plastic on my 3D printer. See, and these are going a lot better. They're just really slow to make. It's hard to make a bunch of them to, to help people out. So I've got all kinds of designs of these that I've been working on. Um, and this is just some of the stuff I wanted to show you that I've been doing, and I wanted to share something with you. I like to be creative, and I know that many of you like to be creative too. You like to sing, or, um, or write, or draw, or color, or maybe you are really imaginative when you play, and you're really creative with your imagination, and you make stuff up when you play. I think that that's wonderful, and I think that that's a really good thing. Did you know that when you're doing that, that in a small way you are reflecting a little bit back into the world about about God and how God made us. When we first meet God in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, the very, very beginning, the first thing that we see is that God is being creative. God creates the whole world, the light and the dark. He creates the, the land and the water, the, the trees and the grass and the plants and the animals, and then he makes us. And he says that he makes us in his image. So God makes us a little bit like him. And God's really creative. It makes us really creative. So when we're being creative, it's us in a small way showing. Like, I don't know how 
how to put that. It's in a small way us reflecting back the work of the Creator that made us God's creation. And I think that's really special. So it's a holy thing to be creative. And I hope that um, during these times when you're spending a lot of time and, and trying not to be bored and trying to make play and make fun for yourself, I hope that you'll be creative. I hope that you'll make things. I hope that you'll draw. I hope that you'll use your imagination and be creative. And I hope that when you are, you'll think a little bit about how God's creative and how God created us in the world and, and how imaginative God is and how God is still creating in the world for us. Also, I'd like to invite you. Um, I get bored sometimes at my house. I bet you're getting bored some, some, right? In your time at home. I want to invite you that if you would write me a letter to my address, which is 585 Tater Hill Road. Don't laugh. I live on Tater Hill. 585 Tater, T-A-T-E-R, Hill, H-I-L-L, -L, Road. You just put R and D. And I'm in Newburn, Newburn, Tennessee, 38059. If you'll send me a letter, be sure you have your name and your address in it. And you'll say, hey, Corey, I saw the video. Would you make something for me? I would love to make something for you. I will make something for you. And if you give me your name and your address, I will mail it back to you. And you'll get a little package from me in the mail, a little surprise from my workshop. I miss you, and I hope that we get to spend some time together soon. And I look forward to getting your letters. See you later.